Okay, so first things first, if you made it this far, you know that we as leaders do not memorize things. So uh, we've been consulting our notes off camera. For this one, I'm gonna consult my notes on camera just to make sure I get everything right for you, okay? Um, we're also, again, pretending to have a dog because Maisie has quit on us, but we wanna get this done so you can watch it and learn, okay? And truly, Maisie's like a 1A. Yeah. So trying to get her to do a 6A, yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're gonna, not going to do this. So we're doing directed retreat. Okay, so we've got our gloves. Um, and you can use regular, like just garden gloves. Um, you can use winter gloves. You can use whatever you think your dog is going to pick up. Okay, just make sure it's not like the winter gloves that stand by themselves when you <laughs> put them up. <laughs> Uh, but garden gloves are generally a good because they're nice and thin. Your dog can pick them up nice. Your phone just flickety flicked. Mm, flickety it just like it went. To, I think it went to that. I don't know. It's still going. <laughs> Technical <laughs> difficulties. <laughs> you also know if you made it this far that sometimes we do things a little silly. Blooper. So. Uh, <laughs> We have our gloves, it can be garden gloves, nice and lightweight, easy. But if you want to go get like the magic gloves that are like a dollar at Walmart during winter time, that works too, whatever. It you need really two for what level? You need two for 5A, you need three for 5B and above. Okay. okay? So we're gonna show you two to start off with. So I'm gonna play both handler and uh, steward, okay? You guys have had ring stewards before, those those ra regular, not the judge, but the other workers that come in and either are posts or or whatever, um, set things up, take your leash, that kind of thing. So she's going to play that part too. Okay, go ahead. So um, first thing you're going to do uh, when you go into the ring is you're going to hand your dumbbell and your these, your gloves and your leash and stuff like that off to the steward. Um, when it comes to this exercise, the steward is going to come in and the handler will be about here in the ring. The steward's going to come along. About mid ring. Yeah. The steward's going to come along wherever the judge tells them to, but generally up against the side of the ring. And they're going to place one, two. They're so they're. The distance from yeah. the dog. From the wall or from, from the, the gate. Wall. They are far enough away from the gate that your dog is able to go around it without going out the gate and they're yet yet not so close to the to the dog okay so when you come in before the gloves are placed you're going to come in the judge is going to tell you to turn and face away from the gloves with your dog so you are not watching where the gloves are placed your dog is not watching where the gloves are placed you're facing away okay and then the judge will tell you they'll indicate which is which. For two gloves, it's easier because it's left or right. Uh, for three gloves, they'll generally go left, right, center, or one, two, three. Just listen to the judge on that. They're gonna direct you on that, okay? And then they'll tell you, turn to face the gloves. Let me double check that wording really quick. Correct. Uh, so the judge will give a command and you'll turn in place to face the selected glove. Okay, so what you're going to do is try to set your dog up to face the glove that you want them to go towards. Okay, so judge tells me, I want you to go for the left glove. So I'm facing this direction. I'm going to turn until I'm lined up straight up with that left glove. Okay, my dog is lined up straight for that left glove. And then we continue like a retrieve on flat. Okay. Just as if you just threw the dumbbell and you're gonna tell your dog to go get it, ready? So I'm gonna tell my dog, take it, or get it, or whatever command you've given. The catch is that hand has to point right to that glove, right yes. over there to the glove that you want him to take. Some, some kids go, take it, and they point with their whole hand, okay? And that's actually a really good way to do it. Um, you can come down here and you can go, take it, Okay, right beside your dog's head. Okay, so take it. And then my dog is gonna go out, hopefully. Pick it up, glove, come, come back. back to me, sit in front. With the glove in the mouth. With the glove in the mouth, correct. And 
judge will tell me, take it, take it from a dove, finish. Now, if the judge tells you right glove, you're gonna do the same thing, but you're gonna keep turning to face that one. And again, take it. And that's a little trickier, right? Because both gloves are in your dog's field of vision. So you need to practice both, okay? You need to practice having your dog go to whichever one you send them to. Now for 5B and up, it's the same thing, but we've got that third glove. So the steward will place them all in a row, generally about that distance apart, maybe a little bit more. You're going to be like this while the gloves are placed, and then the judge will tell you left, center, right, or uh, one, two, three. one, two, three, whatever. So let's say that the judge says center. We're gonna show you, you're just gonna do straight turn around. And this one's a little bit harder. Again, extra, extra depth. So you really need to make sure to get this command correct, okay? So you're gonna go, take it! And you can take that step to kind of give a little bit of extra oomph to it. Okay, so main tricky bits here are just getting your dog to go to the one that you directed them to. As training, you may want to start by going, take it, 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 right? So take them out to the correct glove, okay? And that I think is going to be your best bet. Um, and then also just work on retrieving in general. We're going to make sure to include all the videos in your playlist about retrieving and all the basics of that so you have that as well. Remember, this is a game. Yes. This is fun. Yes. You've got to get the dog to enjoy this, okay? That's your job.